Fraser, Fraser, you're so crazy, Fraser, you son of a... Hello! Pie, sweet Saria, who better to cook a pie than a pie? What does thou request of me? Hello, you tar! Gekosa? Who in the hell is tar? That's what spelled backwards. Ew! Rats are cute and... Wait. Who you calling a rat, boyo? You, that's who. So, you thought you'd get away with it, huh? Didn't think I'd ever be on to you, eh? Well, the gig is up, pal, so you might as well admit to it. What? Wait, I don't... But I don't know what... See, see, that is... That is completely... All right! I did it! I ate the last peanut butter blossom at Blissey's birthday party! <laughs> and I stood again too, you hear? <laughs> Don't try to change the subject with homemade confections! That won't work on me! Again? So, you try to take my wife Vanessa away from me, eh, homo? Who the hell is Vanessa? Who the hell is Homer? For that matter, inversely, who the hell are you? You know very well who you is, homo. Pete Skino, a.k.a. Paranoid Pete of huge anime and movie reviews fame. Okay, I make only a few weird guest appearances here and there, but that's beside the point. <laughs> oh, God, here we found my number. Oh, God, I'm never going to hear the end of Oh, God. Oh. Look, I don't know who you are, Peg Leg Pete, but I don't know no Vanessa. Aw, oh, change your voice, eh, Homer? Don't try to kid me. A little boy told me of what you and she were doing behind my back, you... you wolf! Oi! Don't be slandering the doctor's name! Also, my name is not Homer! It's Jasper, fool! Oh, change your name, eh, Homer? That's exactly what John F. Kennedy did when he changed his name to Eduardo Lopez and got it on the ground floor of the Pollo Local franchise. But that didn't fool me! None of what you just said meant anything! Also, I don't know no Vanessa! I already have me a girlfriend, Harmony Dancer! Oh, hired a standing girlfriend to throw yourself and myself off, eh, Homer? Why would I go through that much effort? If NASA could go through the effort of faking the moon landing with wager holographics, then you could do the same by making up a pretend girlfriend that you never had in your whole life. I know because the Martians who look like Justin Bieber told me when they sucked out my brain juice that one time in Canada. I didn't think it was possible, but I think I found someone more paranoid than I am. You have the wrong number, Petey Griffin! Listen here! You have the wrong number! There ain't nothing right about it! The digits you've dialed are inaccurate! <laughs> oh, change your number, eh, Homer? Oh, everything I can do is being deflected by the guy I think I'm gonna know. So. Now looky here, little Petey Sam! I'm gonna- Ryan won't help you, Homer! I'm gonna come over there to your place of business, kick your door down, whip your red flannels off, and horse whip you till you scream! Uh, I don't wear flannels, you freak nasty! I wear boxers! Oh, change your underwear, eh, Homer? Where is my bat? Where is the bat I use for beating the stupids? Where is it? I must find it! I must alleviate my suffering! Ooh, well you can borrow my bat. Once I'm done beating your brains in and rescuing my wife from your nefarious crutches before you can brainwash her into joining the ranks of the wizard people who control the world's government. Queen isn't even her color, and I hate kissing scary whips. Makes me break out in hives. I know a convenience store owner in a video game who'd learn so much from you. Also, if I might add, Gah! I ain't got your sassafras and wife! I ain't no homer! I ain't no homewrecker! And I don't got no government lizards! I'm just a boy who made a really poor career choice when creating his OC. Why not just call your sassafras and wife and ask her which underground seahorse people took her, huh? <gasps> How about that? Aha! So, you're part of the underground seahorse people, huh? I should have known. You certainly sound like someone who carry a bunch of eggs in their pouch. <coughs> Poor 
Pardon me, good nut job. I'll be right back. Boy, those unearthly sounds of anger and frustration remind me of when the skunk egg gave me an atomic wedge on the floor to Everglades. That sure stung like the dickens. Woof. Pete, what's with all the shouting up in here? Vanessa? You're here? Of course I'm here. What is going on? Who are you screaming at? Oh, don't pretend you don't know, you two-timing white and swag Jezebel! Okay. I think I got it out of my system. <laughs> Wait. Lickanthrope? I think that's how you pronounce it? Yeah, I married a werewolf. What can I say? I like a girl with a long, bushy tail and fangs that gleam in the moonlight. What the hell are you talking about? What am I talking about? Homer! That's what I'm talking about! You know, Homer, the no-good, home-wrecking, wizard, person-supporting, seahorse man you've been making smoochies with behind my back? We went from an Abbott and Costello tribute to friggin' swapping spit with seahorses. No, that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad! I'm glad! God bless these prank calls! I'm happy! I'm fine! How could you do this to me, Vanessa? I thought what we had was special! <laughs> Did our honeymoon in the Bermuda Triangle mean nothing to you? Walking on red hot coals, howling under the moonlight while drinking pina coladas. What about hunting for the Loch Ness Monster? Or taking selfies with the Moth Man? You dragged me into conflict. What? Pete, I haven't been cheating on you. I'd never do that. Where the hell did you ever get such a crazy idea? You know, as opposed to the other crazy ideas you get. I'll do it, and just to remind the audience... You called the wrong idiot, foolmonger! I was never no homer! The digits you dialed are inaccurate and therefore incorrect on multitude! I received this information and phone number from an anonymous odd-toed ungulate source. They said they saw you and... him. Playing patty cake in the kitchen while I was off investigating Dwayne the Walk Johnson of being part of the Illuminati. Even had pictures! I think I just developed an ulcer. I'm going to name it Petey. A pony told you I was cheating on you. Wait, how'd you know that? Where are these so called pictures they took? Right here. These are so obviously photoshopped. Ugh. This is like our vacation to Easter Island all over again. Wait, seriously? Oh, wow, you're white. I was wondering why your head was missing in half of them. Kind of thought you might be part headless horseman never told me. Does he know he's basically ripping off the plot from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Uh, not that kind of patty cake. Oh, I don't have any more questions I want answered. Okay, except for this one. What kind of sick pony told y'all we was patty caking? What did they look like? Well, he was a rather distinguished looking fellow with blue fur, a handsome curly mustache, wore a very stylish derby hat, had a piece of paper taped to his butt, <laughs> talked to his hoof a lot, and... And kept screaming, no, yeah, at inappropriate moments? Yeah, at the end of nearly every sentence, like he was Macho Man Wendy Savage, rest in peace. Why, some of you know? Oh, ding dong, dang it, Casper! <laughs> like gasp, how did you know it was me, how did? Cause I got my own anonymous call. It's from a mister, if you don't get over here and take your lumps, y'all gonna wake up with scorpions in your mailbox again! Not my high school gym teacher! I still owe him bail monies! Oh yeah! I feel used, humiliated, and ashamed. Oh Vanessa, my beautiful whoopine darling. I am ever so sorry. I never should have allowed my childish paranoia to make me doubt our bond of true love. 
Could you ever forgive such a foolish, pathetic schmuck like me? Oh, of course, Petey Weedy. It's not your fault you're still gullible. Personally, I blame your mother. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a sudden craving for horse meat. After all, it is a full moon tonight. I'll be right back. <laughs> and, uh, any apologies for the one who literally did nothing wrong? Oh, um, uh, quite right. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Jasper Shaw, for thinking you were flirting with my wife and threatening to do you bodily harm because I thought you were also in coach with the wizard people. I still don't get the lizard people thing. I just know that it's fun to shout I'm the lizard queen. Don't get me started on it. <sighs> Haven't been this humiliated since the time I got thrown out of conspiracy con. Again, I'm really sorry, Mr. Jasper Show. It's just that ever since Mr. Toonmore fell into a coma three years back, Finesse is the only thing keeping me going while we wait for him to wake up and stop making video reviews again. She's a shining white in my dark, cruel, paranoia-filled existence. <sighs> well... I guess I can understand that. And I'll forgive you as long as you do two things. Name them. Invest in a tinfoil hat and lose my number! Done and done. Oh, um, while I have you on here, would it be okay if I... order a few pizzas? Wait for your boss to come out of a coma it makes a guy hungry, you know. Oh, goddamn, why? He verbally antagonizes me and then wants my food. Oh, just like half my audience. <laughs> All right, fine. What'll it be? Great. Let's see. I'd like five large cheese pizzas with regular crust. And when I say large, I mean very large. Like the size of the flying saucer they got in 51. Also, free meat lovers with ham, bacon, and giant squid, don't forget the ink. Oh, and throw some ground chupacabra on them while you're at it. Don't forget the cheesy bread. And no garlic salt this time, unless you want this place reeking like the skunk ape's bog again. Ugh, TMI, Kate. But, yeah, we'd also like 50 bucks of cheesy bread, no garlic salt, and, uh, let me get a couple of Cal Jones, too. Flying saucer size, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes, uh, somehow, somehow I expected that from you. Okay, would you like to upgrade to the Enterprise package for just 20 bits more, he says out of obligation? Ooh, yeah, go for it. We'll be paying with Mr. Toonmore's card, of course. Uh, very good, sir, that'll be 138 bits, tips not included. Oh, you hoo Mr. Mustache Pony! <laughs> Yes, begin! It's a radioactive hedgehog, it is! Y'all better get the silver bullets and the wolf's bane and toss them in a blender, Mr. Casper! You're right, Hofio. A healthy smoothie will save us from the crappy Sonic game! <laughs> but I don't think it'll repair my windpipe, I don't! You know, I just decided I want to go live with Grandmas, I does! <laughs> <laughs> Better make us six walls meat lovers instead. My wife works up quite the appetite after she gets a rampage in. <sighs> I am one lucky fella. I want to go back to bed for 30 years. I just, I need another vacation. I need another convention. Just, just, just a break from these goddamn prank calls. I just, I can't do it. I can't do it! I don't want to do it! I can't do it! You can't make me! No! <laughs>